Welcome to the RoboLinux Mate Raptor video tutorial, how to create a Windows XP 7 or 10 virtual machine shortcut launcher for your desktop or your bottom taskbar or panel. I'm John Martinson, the founder of RoboLinux. You can call me Robo, everyone else does. Let's get started. So on the bottom left here you see your RoboLinux main menu. Just simply click it, go up to System Tools then over and up to Oracle VM VirtualBox. Here you'll see I have Windows 7 and Windows 10. I could also have Windows XP. We're going to pick 10 today just for fun. So we're going to right click it, go to the bottom, select Create Shortcut on Desktop. Now you have a blue cube that says Windows-10-64. Right click it, go to the bottom where it says Properties, then click the blue cube again in the, in the dialog box. Here you're going to want to navigate over to your home user directory. And mine is John. And at the bottom you'll see VM icons. Double click that. There you'll see the, the actual true icons, which we're going to add into the launcher. And we're going to pick Windows 10. Select Open on the bottom right. Now we have the proper icon set. Now we need to edit that launcher, so we're in the middle of the screen, right click, go to Scripts, go to M Edit. Now we're going to open that file, which is on our desktop, so we're going to have to navigate to it. And we're here on our desktop, and there's the file, Windows-10-64.desktop. Click it, the bottom right, click Open. Now, at the bottom of this launcher file, we need to type in Categories with a capital C equals and then a capital S for system and then a semicolon and now we can save this file and we can exit the editor. Now we want to move this file to USR Share Applications. So in the middle of the screen right click, go to Scripts and you're going to go to Open Kaja as Root. That's your file manager in the Mate desktop and you type your password. Now we need to navigate to our home user so I go home and John is my user and I go to the desktop and there I see the launcher for Windows 10. Right click it, select cut in the dialog box. To the left you'll see under bookmarks applications and that will be USR share applications. We programmed it there. Right click in the middle of the screen and select paste and now you have your shortcut launcher ready for you in system tools. So at the bottom we'll see Windows 10 64. Now if I right click that I can add it to the desktop or add it to the launcher panel. I'm going to add it to the panel and I'm going to move it around a little bit. So that's pretty good right about there. I like it. And we'll go ahead and test it. And as you can see, it works. Now while I have you here, let me show you something nifty. You can have four panels in RoboLinux Mate Raptor. Now as you can see, what I've done is I've dragged uh, several of my apps into this hidden panel. It doesn't have to be hidden, actually. Um, that's up to you in the settings. You'd simply right-click it and go to Properties and set it the way you want it. Okay, see where you can have Expand and Auto-Hide and so on and so forth. Now just to show you why we want this, why would you bother to even think about surfing in Windows when you can surf in Linux on top of Windows? So I just loaded Firefox and here I am surfing. It's almost like you're, it's part of Windows, um, only you'll never have any issues with it. Um, so that's you know the reason why these hidden panels are so helpful while you're running your Windows apps. Thank you for your time watching this RoboLinux Mate Raptor tutorial video. In addition, thank you for your kind support. Have a great day, and may God bless you and your family.